What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are outside Via Moto again in Sheffield, my favourite dealership of all time. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, they do Aprilia, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Piaggio and Honda. Um, and today I'm out of something particularly cool. Look at this thing, the Moto Guzzi V7 850. This is a special version. What do you think? Listen to that. Grumbling. So this is all new 21 model. Um, we've got some more capacity. It's 850cc engine now. I'll do a walk round in a bit and run through all the specs with you. Um, but for now, let's just go and ride the thing and tell you what it feels like. So I'll do my usual thing that I do. I'll give you a um, sort of first impressions, leaving the dealership, then we'll go and ride the thing, learn it a little bit, and I'll give you some more sort of educated opinions, and then we'll do a walk around and I'll sum it up at the end. Um, this is a really interesting bike for me because as I'm getting a bit older, not that this is only for old people, but as I'm getting a little bit older, okay, plenty of juice. Uh, as I'm getting a bit older, the um, classic bike uh, classic bike thing starting to take a bit of appeal for me. But if you're anything like me, and if anyone who's watched my channel for a long time will know, I am a bit of a halfwit on the spanners. Uh, so this is Motor Guzzi's, and there are several manufacturers doing this in this segment. I think a Kawasaki W800 is probably the closest. Uh, competitor, trying for Bonneville maybe, um, but there's several manufacturers now that are making modern classics, so classic looking bikes but with modern engines, I mean this has got traction control, LED lights, and it's it's got some refinement. Okay, it's got some mid-range as well. <laughs> so yeah, so for anybody who's like into classic bikes but couldn't uh, tell you what the difference between an oil filter and an air filter is, um, then this is a great option. Um, yeah, so I'm really interested to try this. So first impressions are, uh, it's really comfortable, but the, the, the absolute first thing is it just looks cool. It's super cool. You know, it's a Motor Guzzi. Motor Guzzi have been doing this for over a hundred years now, and there's heritage and um, there's a sort of style about them like kind of like there's like when you say the name Motor Guzzi you know they've been making two-stroke bikes since 1921 and there's there's just something about them it's a bit like the the name Ducati you know it, it means something um, so you feel like you're sat on something cool immediately it's it's super comfortable um, just riding away there from the dealership the uh, mid-range punch was great controls feel really nice and light Bike feels nimble, nice and easy to just dip in here. Suspension feels nice and comfy. Yeah, there's mid-range there. Mirrors are good. Really nice. The riding positions, I'm sat like really, uh, really, um, what's the word? I, like it, it feels natural, really naturally. I'm trying to articulate this a bit better. Um, my feet are just nice. My feet are kind of sat forward, like I would be in an office chair. <laughs> I, 
that's kind of how I'd explain this. Um, Christ. Look at the crap that thing's kicking out. That exhaust's going to fall off in a minute, pal. Yeah, I feel super comfortable. Uh, there's like a really nice like vibration coming through the engine as well and through the bars and up through my bum. Um, you know, you feel like you're on something classic, but how, how can I explain this? It feels like I'm on something old fashioned, but also refined. Does that make sense? Maybe. The, the, um, the build quality feels excellent. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love. I like anyone who likes bikes. Just bikes in general. Like it doesn't. It doesn't have to be a 200 brake horsepower RC4 factory. You know. I just love bikes. And between starting a motor guzzi, there's just something about this. Um, just cruising, like you know, no stress, not in a hurry, super comfortable. Suspension's plush, chilling. Love it. Who needs cars? Yeah, the gearbox is really smooth. There's no auto blipper or quick shifter on this. Um, but why would there be? It's like a little, little eagle sign in the, on the rev counter as well. Yeah. Obviously we need to go and get some petrol. Yeah, look at that six gear chug along. Plenty of punch. That's actually, other than the coolness, that's probably a standout first impression. What, this, this extra capacity engine that they've given it, this 850cc, giving it some lovely mid-range uh, I never rode the old one so it, it, I haven't really got anything to compare it to but it's got lovely mid-range um, that much I can say it's really nimble as well it feels nice and agile just flying around there then suspension's making me feel like it's planted very nice all right, let's go and get some fuel and we'll do the patented walking back from the uh, petrol station test. Let's do the walking back from the petrol station test. Welcome. So what do I think about this when I walk back to it? It looks cool. It looks really retro. It looks like it's retro, but it, you know it ain't gonna break down every five minutes. That's kind of the point of these bikes, right? Mm. Very nice. Oh, the sound when it starts up, it's got character. So yeah, those are my first impressions then. Okay, so the engine's a standout. It just looks super cool. It's a guzzy, man. It's a motor guzzy. Like, that means something. Uh, it's really nice and light and nimble, and all the controls and everything feel nice and modern, but just the way that it sort of vibrates and just starting it up then and the sound and everything, it's got that authentic classic bike character as well. So you're not losing that character, but you're gaining modern technology. Um, you know, there might be a cohort of people out there that say it's cheating. Well, maybe. But I'm all for cheating. Particularly when you're as pathetic on the spanners as I am. Cheating's good. Um, yeah, so they're my first impressions, but I want to go and learn the bike a bit now. I'll go and ride it, spend a bit of time on it, and then I'll... Um, <clears throat> I'll check back in later and we'll give you some more opinions and then we'll do a uh, I'll do a proper walk around and run through all the specifications and watch new for 2021 on it. I'll uh, catch you later.
right, so we spent a bit more time on this uh, V7 now, and uh, I'll give you sort of a few mid-term thoughts before we go and have a walk around. Um, I really love this thing, I really do. I know I say that about a lot of bikes, but I do love bikes. I'm going to be balanced, and there are a few things that I'd change about it, brakes being one. Um, maybe tyres being another but um, but on a positive note I really like it I just it, I said it at the beginning and like when you sit on it and you're just riding it you just feel cool you feel like you're on a classic um, I feel like I'm on an old bike but in the in this in the same term and I know this is slightly contradictory everything feels refined you know the, the clutch feels like the throttles beautiful really smooth no snatchiness suspensions plush seats comfy you know the engines refined the plenty of mid-range slowdown um, you know everything just sort of feels like nice and like you know it's, it's not gonna break down basically you know you've got you flick through the modes here you know you've got trip meters and clocks and average miles an hour and all that kind of stuff fuel consumption miles per gallon temperatures you know you've got everything that you'd need you've got three-stage traction control LED headlights DRLs you know it's um, and yet you, you I'm riding this and like it's just vibing underneath me and making like cool noises and it just sounds like a old classic retro cool bike modern retro retro classic whatever you want to call them um, it, it honestly it's a it's a really special thing this um, is my honest opinion it's not got fancy uh, suspension on it you know it's got a Brembo master cylinder but it's not got um, fancy brakes I have to be honest the brakes are a little bit wooden um, but y you don't need them to be um, super sharp and throwing you over the handlebars this bike is designed for doing exactly what i'm doing now one hand off the handlebar or maybe not that but you get what i'm saying just cruising around looking around at shit just i don't know like uh, enjoying life enjoying being out on a motorbike without the necessity to uh, you know shave ten a tenth off a lap time or you know tell your mates how big a wheelie it'll pull you know, it's a, it's the essence of motorcycling, particularly for people who are a little bit older, maybe like me. And you know, that's not to say younger people wouldn't want to ride this, um, because it's got that cool factor. And like I say, it's modern, and it's certainly got enough poke to be exciting. That low down, that, that instant um, torque from this 850 engine is really, really, um, it, it gives it a, a fun element as well, so it's not just chugging around. If you really want to, you can you can give it a squirt and um, <laughs> give it a squirt and have some fun on it. Um, and, I, I, and to add on to that note, it's not just the power, it, it feels nice and light and nimble as well. I mean, I'm not gonna say you're gonna get knee down on it, but it, you know, it, going around, I've just been flying around some pretty fast, uh, fast A-road sweepers. Uh, I'm gonna go and hit some twisties in a bit like I always do, but it handles lovely. It's super nimble and agile um, And it feels pretty solid as well The limitation I guess really will be the tires um, But again, you're not going to be really getting to them kind of limits uh, On a bike like this In my opinion, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to test it a little bit to the extreme just so I can find where its limits are. And its limits are way far enough in front for what anybody would need this for, is the point. Um, so my mid-term opinion on this, sort of mid-ride mid, mid -ride review, um, is it's really cool. <laughs> really, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, go and find somewhere now and we'll, uh, we'll stop and I'll give you a walk around of all the specifications. Because uh, like I say, uh, this is a new 21 model so there's some improvements and uh, some things about this bike that I do not think you would know or expect to be on it so let's go and find somewhere to um, have a walk around right so here she is let's do some specs for you what do you think about the looks though I think it's so cool look at that eagle on the tank I absolutely love that so this is the, uh, so let's just walk you through some specs while I walk around this bike for you. Um, this is the, uh, the special version, I'll come on to what that means in a bit. Um, but in basic terms, this is, it's a V-twin, 
so it's a transverse 90 degree v-twin for anybody who really wants to know air cooled 853cc uh, it's got maximum horsepower of 65 um, which trust me feels like a lot it's got um, it's also actually available in A2 uh, license spec. So you can get this for um, like a, a basic A2 license, which I think is pretty cool. It's got 73 newton meters of torque at 5,000 RPM. Um, but it feels like it makes a, its power much lower down than that, to be honest. It's really chuggy. Um, consumption 57.65 miles to gallon. Obviously, it's a six speed. 21 litre tank, you've got 4 litres in reserve, so 25 litres in total, which is some good range actually. Uh, and then you've got a seat height of 780 mil. Now I'm 6 foot, just sit on this a second. So look, so I'm 6 foot tall. And it's plenty of room. Absolutely plenty of room. You're pretty cool analog clocks on there but they've got everything you want fuel light mileage um, trip meters miles per gallon etc uh, what else do you need to know about this curb weights so is 223 kilograms it's quite heavy to move it around I've just moved it around the back of the house so I can do this little walk around and it's it, it feels quite heavy to move but weirdly it doesn't while you're actually on the move if that makes sense actually feels really nice while you're on the move um but yeah 223 kilograms it's obviously euro five um the forks here you've got hydro hydraulic telescopic forks they're nothing fancy but they feel really plush and for what you need to do on them and for what sort of riding this thing's going to be doing it's more than enough and then the rear suspension just a twin sided two spring you've got preload adjustables on there shock absorbers um Rear brake is a 260 mil stainless steel discs, floating two piston caliper, and then on the front, which I have to be honest, if anything about this, the brakes could be a little bit better, but you've just got a stainless steel disc, 260 mil again, floating calipers. You've got Brembo calipers on there. They just feel a little bit wooden, um, but obviously with one, um, uh, one disc on there, they probably would lack a little bit of bite. Love this seat. Look at the colour. I don't know if you can see the colour of that leather. It's like a brown leather shoe. Gorgeous. Well, this is a special version. So the design team at Mandela, where these are built, uh, they've been um, putting on a few extra features for the special. So you've got Dunlop Aramac Street Smart tyres, uh, which I'm told are very good in slippery conditions. Although I don't really want to find out. I have to be honest with you. Um, they're probably the limiting factor and the brakes of the bike but again for what you're going to use this for it's not uh, not a big deal at all um you've got a short and rear mud guard on this as well some styling things and brand new led front uh and rear indicators so if you look here these are all leds now from a comfort level you've got this extra cool vintage leather seat on the special stainless steel passenger grab rail um, and then you've also got like a little coloured band down the side panels here and it matches the stripes that used to be on the old V750 S3 from 1975 which gives you a bit of a cool sort of retro feel about this bike and that's what this is all about really at the end of the day um, you know it's just authentic it's just it's not like some of the retro looking modern ones that are out there at the moment from some of the japanese manufacturers mentioning no names but they are they don't feel like an old bike this feels like an old bike it feels cool it just feels i've said that a few times i know i do repeat myself i'm sorry but it just feels like an authentic classic bike which for me is the main thing so um, right, all that being said, I'm going to go and get back on this now and just finish off riding it and give you guys my sort of final thoughts. Right, welcome back. Had a good few hours on this now. Uh, I wanted to just wrap up my thoughts, just go around some of these twisties. We've had a bit of a downpour, but uh, uh, and what I can tell you is that even with these pretty narrow tyres on uh, and, you know, relatively high weight, on paper at least 223 kilograms I think 
it feels really nimble and, and flickable and light around these twisties really confidence inspiring and these tyres although they're not really sports tyres in this sort of weather and you know just just buzzing around um, they're really good really confidence inspiring um, yeah no no problems really so uh, where do we start with this thing um, so like I said at the beginning in the intro this is something that interests me very much because I've always kind of wanted and lusted after classic bikes but because I'm so useless at any form of DIY, I've just been frightened of them and never, never just never gone there because of that. And for me, this type of bike, this sort of modern retro, um, fills the gap. And I, I suspect it will for a lot of people. Um, and the other fear that I had with these types of bikes was they would be more modern and not enough retro. And for me, this is where this really hits the mark. The, the the guzzy the motor guzzy it comes with the name it comes with the heritage and the history and the authenticity of a you know a hundred year old brand made some really cool bikes throughout the ages uh, you get all that with it uh, for a start but you you know you get that cool factor that's where I'm going with this you get the cool factor it's just super cool it looks amazing it looks really good this special version with this um, sort of vintage leather seat as well it just really tips it off for me it's £8,600 new this special version uh, I think the non-special version the stone I think it's called eight grand. so it's a lot of bike for the money um, they've upped the power or the engine capacity to 850 uh, from 744 and you get a lot of low down mid range it's really fun it's plenty of power on these bike roads to be a giggle uh, you know, it'll cruise along on Mexican roads, well over 100, I'm sure I've been told that somewhere. Uh, um, you know, and it, it feels refined, but it also feels like vibey and noisy and and grumbly and like a, like you'd expect a classic bike too, but not in a, oh shit, it's going to fall apart way. Just in that, you, you sort of get the, I'm trying to articulate this, I'm, I'm struggling, but you, you kind of get that coolness and that, that old-fashioned bike feel, but with refinement as well. Like the throttle's beautiful, the throttle's just absolute silk. Um, no snatchiness, nothing. You get, you know, electronics with it as well from on a on a classic slash modern bike. You get three stage traction control. I didn't show you on the water, I forgot that, but you can change it here, look. We got it on traction one at the moment, you can turn it off. So you can turn traction control off, look there. It's raining, so I won't do that. Um, but yeah, you know, you get traction control, you get LED lights, you get DRLs. Um, uh, you get a really nice smooth gearbox. Uh, you get a beautiful throttle. The, uh, the handling, the suspension, although fairly basic, um, you know, it, it's plush, it's comfortable. Um, it soaks up all the bumps and you can still flick this thing about from side to side in a really fun way. Um, so I'm really enjoying this, just sat on it cruising, you know, the riding position, knees are perfect, the feet are, like I said, I'm sat in a, I feel like I'm just sat in a comfy chair, no weight at all on the wrists, you could sit here for a long, long time, and although it's vibey, it's not too irritating, it's not vibrating through my arms, the mirrors are a little bit vibey, if I have to pick a bit of negativity, and the brakes, just a single disc front brake on there, it could do with a bit more stopping power, but... For the, ma for the type of riding that the majority of people are going to do with this, it's more than enough. Um, and the bike brake's good, which is uh, makes up for some of that as well. Um, what else can I say about this that's negative? <sighs> uh, brakes, I've said before, not, not a lot, honestly. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool thing. I think that's the best way to describe this. It's just super, super cool. Um, and it, it makes you feel like um, you're riding a bit of history uh, without, the, without the fear of mechanics bills. <laughs> yeah. Sounds nice. Listen. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool as well. Oh, the, the shift light indicator comes on too early as well. I bet you could change that, but I've not looked into it. Just a little touch is like little eagle. A little eagle on the side of the tank for me is just like, oh, I want one. 
I love anything like this. I love, I love things that uh, uh, have got history and it's like a, a, a heritage behind them. I think it's uh, it just adds that little bit to the bike. Um, so yeah, so, so that's it really. That's my summary. I mean, the the, the bike's amazing. Uh, really like it. Um, big thanks to uh, Gary again at Via Moto in Sheffield. Uh, a lot of my videos are made there because they are supportive of the channel um, and they like what I do and uh, they help me out and I really appreciate them. So go and hit up Gary, uh, Gary Fenton. He's the sales manager over at Via Moto in Sheffield. Uh, I've just met a guy there this morning. Shout out to you, mate. Um, he. Uh, he watched one of my videos and just bought an RS660 uh, off the back of the RS660 video that I did. So he's just took his in for his first service. He loves the bike, uh, you know, and he popped down there and told them they watched the video and bought it from them because of the video. So, you know, they get a bit bike. I gave them a bit of exposure, I guess. Um, but you know, it's not about that. It's uh, they're, they're a great dealership. I bought bikes from there as well. I bought two bikes from Via Moto now. My ZX6R and my Aprilia from there. Uh, and not to get too pluggy for them, but um, you know, credit where credit's due. They're a cracking dealership and really look after you. Um, so yeah, so big thanks to them. Uh, if you want to um, follow me. Uh, on my socials that would be great I'd appreciate that I've um, got over five and a half thousand on Facebook now if you want to follow me and support me a bit more you can look at my Patreon uh, which is on the screen now uh, on there I post uh, behind the scenes stuff and uh, every year we're just about to enter into it, actually there's a prize draw for um, somebody to win a track day or off-road day in the UK uh, a track of your choice with yours truly or you can go on your own if you want I'd get that. <laughs> um, so yeah, head over to Patreon, have a look over there. But all that being said, uh, if you'd hit the like button and subscribe, there's a lot more content to come, a lot more reviews, track days. I'm off to Donington tomorrow, uh, and Wednesday actually, it's Tuesday tomorrow. I've got two days in a row at Donington, which should be fun. Uh, and uh, just general motorbike nonsense, so uh, yeah. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up now. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will uh, see you on the next one.